welcome back to Falcon Figures, where today I'm going to be doing a figure hunt in Cumbernauld. So as you can see, I am at Castle Comics today, which is based in Cumbernauld. Um, my original plan was to kind of talk you through everything that I was seeing um, in the shop, but I had to wear the face mask, obviously because of the pandemic, I had to wear the face mask and I was struggling to breathe never my talk, so I thought I'm just going to have to come back and add some audio later. So this was the first sort of aisle I went down. wasn't too hopeful until I saw this, the small soldiers tank. Um, it started looking like a really kind of modern layout, a lot of modern toys, a lot of modern action figures and stuff. But uh, when I saw the small soldiers and then Buzz there as well, I thought, oh, I see how this works. Um, the more retro stuff, the more vintage stuff is kind of higher up um, out the way. So, yeah, there's some Simpsons toys that I found um Bit of an interesting story behind them. I'll uh, maybe talk you through that later on. But yeah, so this is the, the owner of the shop told me that Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, was kind of what they were known for and, and to have a good look at their Star Wars case. But I mean, I did. And looking at it, I don't really see anything that you'd be too excited about. Uh, and I kind of looked around the shop to see if I could find any other um, vintage Star Wars stuff. And again, nothing really crazy that I thought, oh my God, I can't believe you've got that or anything. Um, so yeah, maybe just uh, not the, the best time to catch them when they were fully stocked or something. But um, yeah, so this uh, this section here, this is the, the wrestling figures. I asked if he had any WWF Hasbro. He said, I'm not entirely sure. If I do, um, there might be some in there. Uh, so have a look around, which obviously I did. Um, one or two interesting figures, a couple of guys I was looking at. That Goldberg that I've just gone past there, um, the Smash and Slam Goldberg I was looking at, had that been slightly more reasonably priced, I might have picked that one up, but um, £30 I thought was maybe just a little bit too much for that. Um, up and down this wall, there were there was no kind of order to it. It was just wrestling figures everywhere. Um, most of them were jacks. Most of them were the kind of bone crunching era. Um, but obviously, you see there a ruthless aggression, um, one or two that were kind of later. Um, but yeah, some interesting ones, but nothing that really jumped out as really rare, really um, really special or anything like that. So I was looking at this section here, I've been recently trying to get my hand on some uh, Toy Biz Batman figures from the 1989 Batman movie, uh, was it 88? 89 Batman movie, but so I thought there might be some hiding around about in here, but yeah, I didn't see any. Um, there was a, a Batman Begins figure over there, as you can see, um, but no, nothing from the original movie. I actually have a few of those superpowers things. Um, so this section here um, was, you know, that's obviously the Hot Wheels, but I was over here looking at these loose bins that they had. Um, nothing again, nothing really, really special in these bins. I did have a bit of a dig around to see if I could find anything. Uh, this one said wrestling figures on it, but most of the things in there weren't. You can see there's a turtle sticking out there. There's, I don't know what that guy with the flames coming out of his head. I don't know if he's like from Digimon or Pokemon or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was a Captain America. I've just brushed it aside. But I mean, even the figures that he did have, um, I didn't really see anybody that I thought, oh, he's a, he's rare or he's hard to find. Um, obviously, it was a good mix in the shop of kind of modern and retro vintage stuff. Um, here is that's the Stranger Things Stranger Things section, which is obviously quite popular at the moment. Um, but. Yeah, I was really only looking for vintage things. Um, when and I explained that to him when I was I had a chat with the, the guy who owned it. I said, yeah, I'm really just looking for things that are from maybe the eighties or the nineties, <coughs> um, vintage and, and retro stuff. So these are guys I tried to buy. So that's the the Mario Brothers. Tried to buy them, but he would only do it as a set, so couldn't couldn't make a deal. So I did pick up one or two things today when I was in Castle Comics. Nothing major, nothing super expensive, nothing incredibly rare or anything like that. But um, I did kind of think I would go and try and find something. Uh, and turns out I found two or three things. Um, all of them were relatively reasonably priced. All of them were things that I have at least a mild interest in. Um, but yeah, so they're all in this bag here. Uh, let's take them out and have a quick look. So... First up, I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Playmates figure. This is, it's obviously a line that I'm interested in. Um, this figure though, this is a bizarre one. This is April O'Neil uh, from the 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 3 movie. So this is when she's sort of, well, the whole line at this point kind of went movie accurate, I suppose. Um, you see in the back, there's actually a scene from the movie in the back. Um, so there was a kind of samurai theme. It's been ages. I used to have the movie on VHS, but um, it's been ages since I've actually seen it. But yeah, so they're, they're kind of in ancient Japan. It's a samurai theme in the movie. Um, and this is when this toy line was really kind of on its last legs, dying a death. But I thought it was really interesting to get April because April was a figure that's been here from the very start of this line. She was obviously in uh, the first the first 10. She was on you know the original 10 backs that came out in 1988. April was one of them. And she, she was a, a sort of constant throughout the entire line. And she went through an unbelievable evolution through the, the Playmates Turtles line from being almost exactly cartoon accurate in the first uh, the first incarnation of the Turtles Playmates figures right up to this, which is like movie accurate uh, for the third movie. So yeah, April O'Neill, the character has been there the whole way through that Playmates line, but she has evolved um, significantly throughout. So I thought that was an interesting one to pick up. Next up I have Millhouse from The Simpsons. Um, you might have seen The Simpsons. Uh, there was a few of these characters on the shelf in the video there as we were, we were walking through the shop. Um, I actually asked the guy that owned the shop about these figures um, before, I, before I left because they had three different figures, I think, that were on display. He had Millhouse, he had Sideshow Bob, and he had um, Groundskeeper Willie, I think was the other one. And I thought there must have been some kind of mistake with the, the pricing because Millhouse, as you can maybe see, he wanted eight pounds for Millhouse, which I thought was an, an okay, okay price. Um, but the other two were way more expensive than that. Um, he wanted, I forget what he wanted for Willie, but it was like more than double what uh, Millhouse was. And then for Sideshow Bob, he wanted 55 pounds. And I said, what's the story here? Like, is that a typo? And he said, no, no, that's, that's, I, I mean, I'm not an expert on this line at all. I, I've, I don't even think I did have any when I was growing up. Uh, I remember seeing them about, but I don't think I had any. Um, yeah, and he, he said, no, this, in the Simpsons line, some characters are much rarer than others. Some are uh, are really uh, difficult to come by. And Sideshow Bob is one of them that goes for big money. So I thought, that's really, really bizarre. That he was like right next to Millhouse, and Millhouse is eight pounds, and Sideshow Bob is fifty five. But um, and I mean, I like The Simpsons. I'm a fan of The Simpsons, but I think Millhouse is a pretty good character. Millhouse is a character that, um, you know, he's, he's one of the regulars. He's one of the kind of, I wouldn't say he's an A lister, but he's 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 in uh, most of the episodes, and uh, I think he's a cool character to have a figure of. So yeah, glad I picked him up. And lastly. If I can get him out of the bag, I picked up Willie DeWitt of um, Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars. Yeah, so this is a line that um, it, it's in keeping with my sort of childhood. I did have Bucky O'Hare figures. My friends and I would play with Bucky O'Hare figures. Um, I've not really had much of an interest in them. They're made by Hasbro. Um, not really followed the line much. I've not really... Um, in adult life and later life as a collector, I've not really been chasing them at all. But I have noticed that more so the main character, more so Bucky, if I can turn it around and have a look at him. Here he is at the top left there. Um, Bucky O'Hare does go for big money now. If he's in good condition on a, a good card, um, I don't think the rest of the characters are really that valuable or that uh, highly sought after, but... Bucky O'Hare definitely does go for for good money if he's if he's in good condition. Um, so I, I had been thinking about trying to source a couple of these only if I could get them at a reasonable price. And I, I looked online to see if I could find a couple. And Willie DeWitt was one that I saw one or two of, but um, they were all like double the price of what I paid for this guy. Um, so because I wasn't really interested in buying them online at real ridiculous prices and paying for shipping and having to wait a week for them to arrive and stuff. But, you know, when you can just pick it off the shelf and take it to a till and take it home with you, that's, that's a different story. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I might keep a hold of him and see if I can get see if I can get one or two others from that line and maybe do an unboxing at one point. Um, 
Yeah, so that that was my plan for, for him anyway. Other plans I had, Mel has picked up, which I thought he was cool. Um, I, obviously, I'm a fan of The Simpsons. I like The Simpsons. Um, my kids are also into The Simpsons now as well. Uh, since uh, Disney Plus came out, they've discovered The Simpsons. So he might get opened up and played with by my kids as well. And April, no real plans for April um, either way. But I thought, you know, because April O'Neil is one of the figures, that I said there are a lot of them and they're not the most expensive to acquire from the Playmates Turtles line. So I might see if I can get a couple of other ones and maybe do a, a special April O'Neil unboxing video at some point. I don't know if I can get my hands on them. Um, but yeah, so that's what I picked up today. Um, I'll definitely I'll definitely visit that shop again. I knew of it. I knew of the Castle Comics. And um, I think I may have been in once before. I can get Bucky to stand up. Oh no. That's a disaster. There we go. Um, yeah, so there's a good look at everyone picked. Yeah, I think I may have been in Castle Comics once before, um, but I didn't really give it much, much time um, because it kind of presents itself as one of these kind of World of Warhammer, World of Warcraft gaming type shops, you know, where they stay open till late at night so that. People can come in and play these card games and fantasy games and stuff, and that's not really my bag at all. I'm not really into that type of thing. Um, so I knew of it, but I didn't really give it um, much time. But I think now that now that I've been in, had a really good look around, had a good look at some of their stuff. Met a guy that owns it; he seems pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I, I'll probably go back and see if I can pick up some stuff from time to time. He did say that. Um, he updates his Facebook and social media fairly regularly when he gets new stock in so I'll certainly be following him from now on to see if anything interesting comes in but yeah so that's it for uh, for this fig hunt um, I will be doing others, there are a few other places locally to me or semi-locally to me that are on my sort of hit list so um, subscribe to the channel hit your notifications bell um, like, comment share Stay safe. I'll speak soon.